Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be making y'all some baked Italian style spaghetti with noodles. And what I'll be using, I'll be using uh, some ground beef. I'll be using 85% lean and 15% uh, fat. And I'll be using about three pounds. It's about three, maybe close to four pounds and I might not use all of this. But I'll also be putting some batik diced tomato with garlic and onion flavor, some ragu, garlic and onion flavor, and I'll also be using some, some top it off with some Parmesan cheese. Here's my Italian uh, seasoned perfect pinch. Here's some bay leaf, and here's my parsley. And here, this pepper, salt, cayenne pepper, and this is a little garlic powder. Also got, uh, I got basil, thyme, and oregano in here. I mix them up, so I'll be using those. These are fresh, but I'll put them in this bowl. And my fresh onions are, my fresh vegetables are onions. I got yellow onions. I got bell pepper. These are chopped small, and I got fresh garlic and, and a little sugar. These are all the things that I'll be using um, in my uh, baked spaghetti. I'm getting ready to start this spaghetti. The first thing I do, I have a little leftover bacon grease. I'm going to put a little bacon grease in it just so I can saute the garlic and give them that fresh uh, taste. That helps too, uh, help the taste that uh, bacon grease. So I set that aside. And the first thing I'm going to put, my stove is not quite hot yet, but anyway, I'm going to still put it in and put my garlic and let them start cooking. It don't take long in this cast iron. Save a little bit for my sauce. Now that's getting hot, I'm going to take some onions. I didn't cut them as small as I wanted to. I'm going to cut these in here and let them get hot. They're going to start steaming up. Don't matter how big they are. That smells good already and hasn't yet done anything. Put all these in here and let them cook a little bit. And I don't care if my garlic don't cook as much because I want my garlic to season into my sauce too. So it don't have to cook as much. Normally you should put your garlic in first, but with this right here, I just decided just to put uh, cut something. I'm cutting these onions up until it get hot. And these are gonna saute with my vegetables. Put some green peppers in here too. And all this cook with the bacon grease. I'm gonna put my meat in here. That's green peppers and that's onion and some garlic with bacon grease. How y'all been doing out there? I'm going live uh, Friday. I'm finally going live Friday at 7.30. I want all you all to tune in to me. And this, like I said, I'm going to bring y'all whatever y'all want to. We're going to sit back and chill. Please don't ask me no cooking because you can refer to my videos on YouTube. But I'm, we just going to talk and we're going to have a good time. Bring your Moscata, like I said, your beer, your wine, your moonshine, anything y'all like to drink. And we're going to sit back and chill and just talk and have a great time. That's Friday at 7.30, the 21st. So I'm gonna let these cook a little bit. When they start cooking, I'm gonna put my meat in there. And to ensure that your food tastes really good, sometimes I do this right here, and I don't do it all the time. I just put a little season on the, on the, on the vegetable sometimes. I don't do it all the time, but that when I want this spaghetti to be walking. Put just a little bit on there, a little salt. I'm going to put my meat in here. I don't want to cook too much, just a little bit. And the more these green peppers, that make it really good in here. And once it's cooked a little bit, I'm going to put my meat in here. Like I said, try it with bacon grease. Try something different sometimes. And if you don't eat pork, don't use it. I mean, don't use the bacon grease if you don't eat pork. Let's use butter. You can have butter. I'm cutting a little bit more of these onions in here because I didn't do. If you a red onion hanging up, it ain't gonna hurt. I'll put this in here also and let this cook. Oh, I cook different like y'all say, but try it. Like I said, try your meat with the bacon piece and you'll see the difference in the meat. Okay, I'm gonna let this fry. I'm gonna get ready to put the meat. I don't want it to cook that much. That's a little bit. I want to cook with the meat and flavor the meat. So now I'm going to open the package of the meat. Like I said, it's about almost four pounds. I might not cook all of it. And I'm going to cook most of it. Not probably about two packs of it. This looks okay, but sometimes 
and you get the pack, you know, in the middle of these so brown where they uncovered it up. Cut this down some. Cut the stove down so you break up all your meat. And you want these peppers to season your meat. I put this other pack in there. I don't know about using that third pack. It's almost three times. And in there, like I said, this meat's pretty good. 85% uh, lean and 15% fat. So that's about good for us to get it. You don't want to get that 93. Uh, and the cooking spaghetti should have a little uh, fat in it. 15% is not too bad. Like I said, have y'all been checking out my other one? My neck bone did really good. And this is good. This meal right here is good for your children. You can bake it, put it in the oven, you know. And the bacon is really good. You can scoop it out or cut it out, no matter how it looks, it's just how it tastes. And I'm like, I'm saying, I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna season this a little bit more. I'll put a little more green peppers and stuff in it. I don't care how big it is, because it's gonna disappear anyway. But okay, I'm gonna get back with y'all. Y'all see my little uh, shirt, uh, apron I got. I'm gonna get back with you all. <laughs> I said that so much. Isn't that cute? I got to get the person. When I go live, I'm gonna shout her out. The one who told me to do that. I really thank you. Okay, my meat have broken down a little bit. It's still got red in it, but what I wanted to do is start my season so it can go all over. I'm gonna put some, and then I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna put here, season the good. This is some Italian seasoning. My perfect pinch is good. Let's go, because I'm making spaghetti. Make sure you try some of this right here, some Italian seasoning. So I'm gonna put that around it, and I'm also gonna put some uh, garlic powder. I also have fresh garlic, now this garlic powder. Put it all around, and I'm gonna let this cook, and I'm gonna repeat the other side of it. And then I'm gonna put some salt. So, like I say, uh, you put salt in, but when, when you, before you finish your food, you retaste it again, because you wanna see how much you got in the salt. And here is some black pepper, I'm gonna put in there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook this, I'm gonna turn this over, mash this down, and make sure I turn over and repeat the black, I mean the other side. <laughs> Look, just like I did this one with all the season. So here's some cayenne pepper. This is going to give it a kick. Don't put too much in here, but it'll give it that good kick. Okay. I'm gonna stir it. I'm gonna, see, it's cooking good. I'm going to turn this over and let this side cook, and I'm going to repeat the season on this side once it's cooked. I'm going to season the other side of it. Make sure you season good. That's what makes good spaghetti. Not too much salt now. Turn this over and let all these onions and stuff cook in them. And I always try to use, uh, the only vegetable that I use are garlic, onion, and bell pepper. You know, yellow onion, sweet onion, and bell pepper. You can use the white onion too, that's up to you, but I use the sweet, because you're gonna put a little tap of sugar in the tomato sauce and paste and stuff, that makes it acid, the sugar help calm down the acid in there. So you can always use a little sugar in there. So I'm gonna let this cook. And I'm going to start with my sauce. I'm going to come back and start with cooking my sauce before this even get done. Okay. Okay, I repeated the seasoning with the pepper, the garlic, the cayenne pepper, the Italian seasoning, and the salt. I, I put some on. I turned it over, like I said, let it cook. I'm finished letting this cook. And what I'm going to start now is, uh, while well, that's cooking, when I start, now this is how I do it to make my stuff taste, really make my spaghetti taste really good. You cook the sauce too. You don't put the meat, you let the sauce cook some, and then you put your meat in after it gets started sauce. So I always do that, my stove will always be hot. This leftover uh, ragu, same as the other one. I'm gonna put a little water in it once I get through. Once I get it the consistent I want, use a little water. Uh, Cause sometimes it be real thick. Now here's some more, the same salt, this is the, the new bottle. And that was the leftover. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my, uh, let your sauce cook too y'all, if you want really good. Here's my uh, petite, uh, these are petite dice with uh, tomatoes with garlic and basil and oregano in it. That's those. I use two cans of that. And I use about a big one, the biggest jar of, uh, of the regular sauce. I'm gonna put that in there. 
and I'm gonna start with my vegetables. I forgot I gotta get my vegetables. Here it does here it doesn't matter how big the vegetables are, because you ever look you they gonna cook. This is gonna cook to all these vegetables. Um they might have could have been smaller, but it don't matter because they're gonna cook away. I'm putting these are bell pepper and these are onions. And I put garlic in there. I already put I used most of my garlic up, but garlic, those are three uh vegetables you should use. Only these three cook. I mean, them other vegetables, I don't know what the celery and stuff will be good in there. And here's my oregano, my basil, and my thyme. I'm breaking them up. I'm putting some of this in there. Just, you know, just break it up and put it in there. Make sure you have enough water. I'm put some of those in there. All three of those, thyme, basil, and oregano. Just break them up and put them in there and let them cook. That's what makes spaghetti. And I'm going to put a little, um, what else I'm going to put in? I'm going to put some salt. I'm going to put uh, garlic powder, and I'm going to let this cook until I taste and see how I cook. All the ingredients that I put over there in my meat. Cut this down over here, because that's cooking. And I'm going to let this cook for at least about 45 minutes to all the flavor go in here. And I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to put a little sugar to cut the, um, to cut the acid in. And I'm going to taste this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste it. And where's my bay leaf? I had some bay leaves. I got to find those I'm going to put in here. But all of these going to go in here. And stir this up and put some water and let this cook. So all the vegetables disappear. Like I said, these seasons can't help but cook. Some of the vegetables are big. I cut them down. It don't matter because, like I said, it's going to cook for 45 minutes. And sometimes when you're eating spaghetti, you want to see your vegetables too. I'm going to let this cook for a while. I don't know what that noise was. Something broke. But anyway, I'm going to put some water in here and let it shake up some. And let it start cooking. Add a little more water because you don't want it to be that thick. Unless you like thick spaghetti. Some people like thick spaghetti. Like I said, I'm going to let this cook to this season. All these flavors go in here. And then I'm going to add my meat and let my meat cook in it. Cut this off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, I put my meat in the, uh, my soup, uh, sauce in the oven so it won't burn. That's the best way. So heat your oven to 350 or 400. Set the sauce in there. Put us aluminum, some foil over top of it in a pan and let it just cook for about 45 minutes. And then it's seasoned really good. Then you put your meat in there. Let it cook another 30 minutes. That's the best results. That makes a good taste. Just try that. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, hey, y'all, my meat drained. I drained here. See, see the vegetables in there, and that's good. I drained all the fat off. But now, what I do, I put all those vegetables I mentioned the green peppers, the onion, the fresh garlic. I put the Italian seasoning, pepper, salt, garlic powder, oregano. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, oregano, fresh oregano, and basil and thyme. But I also put a little cayenne pepper in it. And now I'm getting and some sugar. I'm getting ready to taste it. So I taste what I need to do. Mm. Really? Let me see. Taste it again. It's, it's so good. Put a little garlic powder in there. And see all those vegetables? And I also put some two bay leaves in there, too. Now, this is garlic. And that's about it, because it really didn't need anything. See all these vegetables, all this is cooking in there. And like the big ones, I'll take the bay leaves off and maybe stem for some of um, the oregano and the uh, the thyme and the base, I might take those out, but these other vegetables are gonna stay. And what I'm gonna do is I cooked it on top of the stove, and now I'm gonna put it in the oven so it won't stick. When you're cooking your spaghetti and stuff, put them in the oven. And you don't have to worry about stirring it. It's gonna cook, have the temperature kinda high, about 400. I got mine's 405. Have it about 400, cover it up, and leave it alone for about an hour. All these vegetables are going to be simmered in there, and they're going to be good to go. See all these vegetables, and you'll be good to go. Don't, I suggest put it in the oven versus the stove top. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up and put it in the oven, and I've got bread right back. With me. So in my pasta, I'm going to put a little butter in here. I'm season, also season the pasta too. I season the meat and the sauce, now I'm the butter. And I'm going to put a little salt in here just to season my noodles. It's boiling, boiling. And the noodles are going to cook about 8 to 10 minutes. Put some salt in here so my noodles will be seasoned. You know, this is option pepper, but I want my noodles to taste good too. So I'm gonna put a little pepper in here. Just a little bit. It don't matter if they're dark. And I'm gonna pull my noodles in here. 
And my, see, my pan's the same size my noodle is, the same length, so I can just pull them right in here. This is a box of how many ounces this is. This will go with, this is 16 ounces of pound of noodles, spaghetti, thin noodles, and I also had about three uh, ounces of, uh, three pounds of uh, a ground beef. So I'm putting this in there, and let me pour it right in there, and let them boil, stir them up a little bit, pick them up, and let them boil for about, like I said, eight to 12 minutes. It's according, you know, how, how your stove cooking. I'm gonna check them once they start boiling. And in the meantime, I'm gonna check on my sauce too, when these get through cooking. Okay, y'all, my noodle cooked for about eight to 12 minutes until it got tender. I, talk, I, I taste them and I make sure they was ready. And you can either put your noodles in first or your sauce in first. Here's my sauce, it cooked in the oven, it's good to go. See all those veggies, this is, I taste, this is delicious. So I'm gonna put my sauce over my meat. Put it like this. And the meat, and I'm gonna stir this up and I'm gonna add noodles slowly too. First I'm gonna put all my sauce in here. Then I'm gonna add noodles slowly. And this is what you call baked spaghetti, y'all. Baked, it's baked spaghetti. Sauce in there. Make sure you have enough sauce. And that's how that is. I'm best for this. Is I season my meat, I season my sauce, and I season my noodles. Everything is seasoned. So I'm gonna put some spaghetti in here now, a little bit at a time, so you won't have too much sauce. It don't matter about sauce, and you can always have liquid. You can always have liquid and stuff, but you know, the sauce. Uh, it don't matter, but you don't want to have too many noodles in there. So I'm gonna stir this up. See how that looks. Then I'm gonna take and put some cheese and stuff over here. Get it right. I have too many, just nothing new. It's not good they look, y'all. This is gonna be so good. Because everything is seasoned. I sauteed my onions and when I first started my onion with bacon grease, garlic and green pepper with bacon grease. After I did that, I took and put some more noodles in here. I took and uh Put my meat in there and I season my meat up with onions, bell pepper, garlic, fresh garlic and onions and stuff. And I season that. And I also season my sauce with the vegetables, same vegetable, onion, garlic, green pepper, oregano, basil and thyme. I put all of that in my sauce, just check it out. And that's how you make good Italian uh, uh, baked spaghetti. So you're gonna mix this good, and then you're gonna put some cheese on top. I'm gonna put American cheese on top of it, and sprinkle a little Parmesan on it, and I'm gonna have a whip to go. See, that's good. I'm gonna put a little bit more noodles in and have it mixed in. Like I said, make sure you have enough. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna lay some cheese on top of here. You see how good that looked? Them vegetables all through it. This is so good, y'all. I season all the food. I season the noodles, the meat, the sauce, everything is seasoned to perfection. I mean, you'll love this right here. I'm putting some American cheese on it, you know, so I can, you know, it tastes good. It's American cheese, and I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese on it and call it baked spaghetti. You can cut it out, cause them how liquid it is. I like mine to be a little liquid in it, or you can scoop it out. It's up to you, but when I get through, I gotta get one more piece of cheese and call this a day, put it in there. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this uh, Parmesan cheese on it and call it a day, y'all. This is so good. I need another piece of cheese, like I said. This is delicious. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven, get another piece of cheese, and when it come out, I'll be ready. Thank you all for tuning in to Matt's presentation. I hope you enjoyed this Italian baked style spaghetti with all the delicious flavors I had in there. Please check out all my videos, and like once again, I said thank you all for tuning in to Mattis Kitchen, and have a great day.